Accounting gives you the flexibility to automate as much of your banking as you choose. You can automatically import your bank transactions using a secure bank feed. Or, if you'd prefer, you can import transactions directly from your bank statements. On the banking page, the actions for a bank account are your one-stop shop for connecting the account to a bank feed, importing transactions from bank statements, and managing your bank rules. Bank rules are a great way to streamline your bank reconciliation and are covered in their own video. The most efficient way to work is to connect an account to a bank feed, which will automatically push banking transactions into the system. If you've not set this up before, you can do so by selecting Actions, then Connect to Bank. Scroll through until you find your bank, or type the bank name in the search field to narrow down the list. If you don't see your bank listed, use the link to let us know. Once you find your bank, select it, then follow the prompts to authorise the connection. Set the date from which you want to begin importing transactions, then click Finish. Your transactions will usually load within a few minutes, although depending on your bank, this can take longer. Once your bank transactions have loaded, click Transactions to open the incoming bank transactions page to view the transactions and reconcile them with your accounting records. For example, you can match transactions with existing invoices or credit notes. Sometimes, it might not be possible to import bank transactions from a bank feed. For example, you might need to import historical transactions, or your bank might not provide this functionality. In situations like these, the flexible banking options mean you can still complete all the tasks you need to. For example, you can import bank transactions from a bank statement instead. On the Banking page, select Actions, Import Statement. Begin by indicating the file type of the statement. If your bank gives you the option of downloading your statement in OFX format, which is an industry standard format for financial data, we recommend you use this option. However, you can use whichever format works best for you, including XLS, CSV and QIF. You can use the link to learn more about correctly setting up your file in the specified format. Then, browse to and select the file itself. Depending on the file type, you might need to specify the date format used so that the system can process the file correctly. Add a comment to help you identify the upload later, and click Upload File. Different banks indicate incoming and outgoing payments differently. To help the system identify the format used by your bank, one transaction from your file is shown for you to indicate if it is an incoming payment or an outgoing payment. After you click Verify, you'll see a list of all the transactions in the file. Check that they're appearing correctly, then click Import Transactions. When the transactions have loaded, they're added to the incoming bank transactions page. To keep things organised, the transactions are marked as imported from a bank statement. They're processed in the same way as bank feed transactions though. Any bank rules you've defined are applied, and you can match the transactions to outstanding invoices, credit notes and receipts, or delete any transactions you don't want to keep. If you spot bank transactions that you don't want to keep, such as transactions from outside your accounting period, or transactions you've already recorded, select them then click Delete. You can quickly delete all the transactions listed on a page by selecting the checkbox above the first transaction, then clicking Delete. Another way to automate your banking data is through Auto Entry. If you've connected Auto Entry to Accounting, you can choose to export bank transactions directly from Auto Entry into the bank account of your choice in Accounting. Just like with transactions imported from a bank statement, accounting marks these transactions as imported from auto-entry, but processes them just like any other transactions.
you'll find everything you need to know about setting this up in the online help. For further information and in-depth courses, visit Sage University at sageu.com. If you have any questions or need guidance, visit the Sage Support Resource Centre at sage.com forward slash resources, where you can ask the community, search the knowledge base, or get in touch with us by chat.